I started riding when I was four years old, just driving past the local track in Mackay, North Queensland, and uh, I was never really an indoors type girl anyway growing up. I was always out on my bike with the street kids, so I uh, just uh, wanted to have a go, and Dad took me down, and it's just never stopped since then. I think my parents have been very influential in my whole, whole career. They've uh, really supported it, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really thankful for that. Well, the adrenaline must be pumping for these ladies as they get out the gate. Melinda McLeod now moving back into the top spot. The last sprint to the finish line, and it's going to go to Melinda McLeod. My transition into senior elite's been, uh, been pretty, I've been pretty lucky. Uh, it's been a really good year, and uh, I think it was probably a help with uh, training with the high performance team last year. Um, as a junior still, really, it was quite easy to step into elite, and I've um, been doing it for that past year, so I'm really happy that it's, it's going the way it is. McLeod goes, this is the point, it's Reynolds all over. Then we go back to Calisto. Reynolds going for a late charge. Oh, I'm straight away. McLeod, Reynolds. My wins in the Pro Bike Series this year were at rounds which had uh, pretty windy and rainy conditions. The one in Canberra, especially being Caroline's home track, uh, had to come back down late in the track down the third straight, which is probably the muddiest part of the, the track all day. So I was, I was really, really happy with that win and uh, yeah, a good, strong foundation going into the, the Worlds this year. One of my biggest role models is definitely Anna Mears. Uh, just see her go through what happened pre-Beijing and then to come out of the Olympics and, and still win a silver medal is pretty, um, pretty amazing. And uh, just the way that she handles herself off the track as well as on the track is definitely something that I aspire to be like. But uh, the mental side of BMX at the, at the elite level is, is crazy and I'm, I'm learning more about myself every, every race. It gets a bit tiring just 100% um, just BMX, so there's definitely, um, my family have been very important in, in making sure that I do have something outside of BMX because, uh, you know, not going to be able to eat gold medals and uh, not going to be able to ride for the rest of my life, unfortunately. My body's starting to break down already. <laughs> I'm only 19, so uh, definitely to have something outside of the sport is, is huge for me and, uh, like I said, my family are really influential in that. Next year I'd like to uh, just go back to university and, and do a lot of study that I kind of put on hold to, to do this Olympic cycle and um, so I'm going to try and get into sports science in, uh, in the University of Brisbane and just see where that takes me but I really enjoy working and uh, around athletes and around uh, fitness people and see where that goes. I have to uh, almost pinch myself every day and go to the, the best places in the world, um, just training with, with a bunch of cool teammates and I'm um, very, very lucky. It's still real. It's real.